welcome this is the energy vibration reading for um the leo sun moon and rising sun i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful um support and please like share these videos please remember to listen to the sun moon and rising sign go back and listen to the monthly readings this is a fourth week of august and week begins from the 20th until the 26th from monday until wednesday it is a fire a zodiac energy and from um thursday until um sunday it's going to be the energy of the hurt okay let's look at this week um this week is an emotional week and this week um, on Monday you have the seven of ones where you're standing your grounds this is a fire energy where you're standing your grounds against a situation on Tuesday an energy of the hurt where you need to make a decision about an issue that is going on in your life on Wednesday you have a heartbreak over a situation that has to do with someone in your life and this could have an effect the queen the king of ones is here so this is going to affect people over the ages of 40 okay um, some of you are going to be having a loss and you have to make a decision about this as we move forward on um, Thursday another hair energy lies lies and uh, um, a lot of lies and deception that has been ha happening is coming to an end because you're finally seeing the truth of a situation as we look at Friday we have the three of ones where um, you guys are going to decide to leave a situation behind is a fire sign this is going to be wonderful the weekend you have to deal with people over the ages of 40 okay so whether you're young whoever you are it could be uh, that you're dealing with your father um, if the energy of your father is um, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius or if uh, you have a, a father that is um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn you will have to deal with this person on Sunday or sometime in the weekend or in the week as we look at the beginning of the week we have the seven of ones now the seven of ones is stability the seven of ones is you protecting yourself against an issue or a situation which you're deciding to turn your back to and make a decision to move forward and release yourself and re release yourself of the loss it is a karmatic situation okay so for some of you the wheel of fortune is going to be releasing you and um, re um, moving you out of a situation that no longer serves you which is going to be wonderful and um, very positive because of this is a karmatic situation that has been following you for most of your lifetime some of you are going to have some luck coming in in the beginning of the week the number 10 energy is here so um, use the number 10 energy in this week for whatever luck and whatever situation you need to decide to use and um, whatever you need to decide to work with as we look at the middle of the week some of you um, um, people who are over the age of 40 uh, 40 years and older have to make a decision and there is going to be a loss but you need to make this decision because you will receive a loss but it's okay because um, something has to be lost before something new can come in but you're going to be victorious you are going to be victorious over whatever the situation is you're going to be victorious in a sense that whoever you are whatever that has been transpiring whatever that you have been uh, that you have lost you will regain this but in something much better and something much new in your life as we look at the ending of the week we have the three of swords and the three of swords is a heartbreak that you're going to be feeling so um, if you are dealing with someone who your partner um, your husband is an um, Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn you could be finding out about some lies and some misinformed information that he has done um, this person is very mischievous and very um, dishonest and now the lies have been coming out so this could be a business partner for some people this could be your father for some people and this could be your partner whether you're married to this person or you're in a relationship with this person you're going to see that this person has been very deceiving um, in his dealings and you are going to be realizing this the outcomes 
is um, the energy of the Prince of Cups. The Prince of Cups is someone um, between the ages of 25 and 45. Um, this is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. Um, and this person could be letting you know and showing you um, that this person has been lying and being very, very deceiving. Whoever this um, Prince of Cups is, um, this person is going to come to your aid and let you be aware of um, what has been transpiring because obviously um, there has been some a really deceitful situation that has been um, playing out in a very dishonest way um, very dishonest things that has been happening and has been transpiring and you are going to be um, coming um, to the realization that um, this um, person who is a, a, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn it's a man over the age of 40 this is really the energy of a man over the age of 40 um, this person has been very very deceiving very deceiving and now you're seeing the truth of the situation and an end is coming to the lies and deception what this man has played okay the lies and deception what this man has played now as we look at your weekend your weekend is that some of you are going to decide um, to release yourself of a karmatic situation whether it's a karmatic situation or issue that has to do with family or your personal life or um, things around you this could be a situation on the work floor that you have to make a decision whatever the decision is the wheel of fortune is going to bring you a win-win in this situation and um, someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, the, the lies and deception that this king of Pentacles has done is all going to come out it is a week the outcomes of the week is a week of conflicts the five of swords is always the energy of the um, the conflicts that is going on it is going to be a very conflicting a week and this is a conflicting week of someone um, of past past this could be family members or this could be soul family um, that you have known in the past whoever these people are and these issues are that you're dealing with it is a past issue um, from past lifetime okay from past lifetime and uh, whoever it's affecting because it's going to affect a lot of people in this week and there is going to become an end the number 10 energies is playing out for you guys the energy of number 10 and number three three and ten is going to be your energy vibration for this week as we look at um, what is going to be the outcomes um, um, with the last we have an outcomes um, with a situation that has to do with uh, um, an organization an organization so here we are the outcomes of the week is going to be conflicts with either soul family or um, 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 past life family members or family members and it has um, especially to do with an organization okay uh, the energy of the tower is here and this energy of the tower is letting you know that it's a group of people that finally an end a deception and deception is a deception uh, and is going to be coming out twice I've seen the energy of the Sun at the side so it's as if this is going to be a week of healing um, for you guys it's going to be really a, a week of healing that you are ending a situations and moving on further and understanding that a situation that has been playing out how very deceptive this king of Pentacles is that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn it's not a woman it is obviously it's a man and it's a, someone who is a, a very very deceptive okay so you guys have um revenge and um this is purple so your color for this week where you can see the purple here and the purple coming back so it's going to be a, um a week of healing and it says um divine union in a silent spiritual devotion divine union in a silent spiritual devotion your focus is going to be i bow with revenge to the 
um, divine heart within okay so this is wonderful this is good this is going to be a positive energies for you guys I hope you can see um, the energies it's going to be a very very positive energy because it's a week of healing it's a week of karmatic healing and I want to say to each and every person please remember to like share thumbs up like these videos namaste until next time Thank you.